Security analyst Professor Michael Clark there. Now, breaking news, you know, we've been reporting on Sir Gavin Williamson and the bullying allegations. We now understand that he has resigned. Here's our political editor, Beth Rigby. What's happened, Beth? Yes, Dermot, just literally in the past few moments, a tweet has gone out with Gavin Williamson's resignation. So I haven't even read it myself yet. Uh, but he sent a letter to the Prime Minister saying, as you know, there are ongoing complaints, processes connect concerning text messages I sent to a colleague. I'm complying with this process and have apologised to the recipient for those messages. Since then, there have been other allegations made about my past conduct. I refute the characterisation of these claims, but I recognise these are becoming a distraction for the good work this government is doing for the British people. I have therefore decided to step back from government so I can comply fully with the complaints process that's underway and clear my name of any wrongdoing. He goes on to say, it's with real sadness I tender my resignation, but I want to take this opportunity to offer my full and total support from the backbenchers. I'm incredibly proud to have worked with you in government over the past few years and during the campaign. So Gavin Williamson there, breaking news, has resigned from and, government. And the key word in these kind of resignations is always that distraction. Well, distraction. It's, it's the pure number of stories that just keep coming out. This, this is it, Dermot. And, you know... Over the weekend, it had emerged um, about the Wendy Morton complaint and those text messages uh, were released to the Sunday Times. Uh, Jake Berry, the then former party chairman, said that this bullying allegation, uh, which Wendy Morton, the former chief whip, had made and complained to the party, that the Prime Minister had been made aware of the bullying allegation, so that then dominated uh, the Sunday shows and headlines. Uh, it then emerged... Um, that there was another uh, instance of alleged bullying from a uh, senior former civil servant. Uh, that person tonight, as I reported earlier, has now made a formal complaint to the parliamentary watchdog, as has uh, the former chief whip, Wendy Morton. So that's two complaints to the parliamentary watchdog. Uh, there's also a complaint uh, in with the party uh, from Wendy Morton. As I understand it, there were rumours and considerations about even more complaints from MPs about the conduct of Gavin Williamson. And clearly what has happened uh, tonight is that Rishi Sunak... Uh, maybe had a conversation with him, I don't know. But what's clearly happened is that that message distraction has meant that Gavin Williamson has resigned from government. Dermot, it was clear uh, that this was an open wound and the stories were going to just keep coming and coming. And Rishi Sunak has to go in for his third Prime Minister's questions tomorrow. Oh, he's he's, third. It's he's already faced extremely difficult sessions over uh, the reappointment of Swella Braverman as Home Secretary and the presence of Gavin Williamson within his government performing a, a ministerial role in the Cabinet Office has clearly become a problem that Number 10 have realised is not going to go away and there could just be a drip, drip, drip of allegations that are a distraction. I mean, the, th the point of it all too, though, Dermot, is it does call into question Rishi Sunak's uh, judgment. You know, he said he wanted to run a professional uh, operation. When he resigned from Boris Johnson's cabinet, he talked about standards in public life and the way government conducted itself mattering. And within weeks of being Prime Minister, I mean, it's only been, what, two to three weeks, he's already had to accept or, you know, the resignation of Sir Gavin Williamson because he is being mired now in controversy around allegations around bullying, allegations which he has denied. Uh, but this is one uh, senior figure in the government who helped get Rishi Sunak into office that's had to fall on his sword today in order to protect Rishi Sunak from the political maelstrom around Gavin Williamson. Okay.